Do you usually dress in black? Is that your colour or, or just, just today, just feeling it? I feel called out because I do gravitate to black. <laughs> Welcome to episode 23 of What Everyone Is Wearing in New York. It is September. It is still pretty mild here, which usually is in New York. So let's get stuck in with a good mix of people and just get some really good style inspiration and starting with this first guy, loved him. Uh, I'm Yannick yeah, Michuke. I'm a gallerist in um, Lower East Side Bowery area. A gallerist? Yeah. Okay, so um, what kind of art do you... So we do contemporary, you know, between secondary market and primary market. Um, you know, painting, sculptures, and that sort of stuff. This vintage netted shirt, custom pants. These are, you know, my tailor, you know, put this together for me. And then the shoes are by Toga. Toga shoes? Yeah, Toga, yeah. So they just lives as a company out of Japan. You know, so it's um, really fine leather with um, stud, stud work. And the hat is vintage. And your hat is vintage? Yeah, so mainly vintage, custom, and I don't know, like, something more recent on the bottom. So cool. So you said these are tailored. Your pants are tailored. Yeah. Yes. Where did you buy them then? Where did you get the pants? Oh no, I mean the fabric was something that my tailor. Oh, it's the fabric, and he made them from scratch. He made it from scratch. There's a yeah. really. So cool. I, I don't. I normally don't wear belts, you know. So everything I own is either custom made or something that's been fitted, you know. So I'm not a belt wearer. You're not a belt person. Like you don't kinda need adds, it. Yeah, it just kind of adds, you know, some clutter to what I'm wearing. So I just don't do belts. I would love to do that. Is that very expensive? to do that like tailor like get the fabric and yeah it depends i mean anywhere from like 200 to, uh, and up but if you, you own it for the rest of your life you exactly know? and it keeps you it keeps you in shape for the most part but once you lose <laughs> or gain too much you right. have to you're like retailer they keep you in check yeah it's kind of like some <laughs> internal you know um hr system for the body i understand i love the cut the white the white oh yeah very comfortable I'm a very, I'm like comfort driven, you know, person. So I have to wear things that I like, but I can also feel relaxed. That makes perfect sense. And your bag? It's just. Yeah, this is a free bag from, um, I forgot where I got this from. It talks about, I mean, if anyone who reads Spanish, they can kind of translate that for themselves. And then inside is a vintage, like, computer case. It's all a mess. I thought that was vintage. It looked it. The yeah, leather. The, the leather on the inside. Look at the is leather, vintage. it's sick. The patina on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's from the 70s. They yeah. don't make leather like that. <laughs> yeah, it's in the 70s and all of it still works. I love it. And part of me, I just like long day, long morning, so I'm super like, my eyes are red. I haven't oh. slept a lot. Okay, that's okay. You look, so, uh, that's, uh, you look on the point. I don't think I'm like out here drinking it. Right. <laughs> No, but the morning, they're not going to believe that because you sound fine. Like you don't sound like you oh, have. Cool, so. cool. I just have to apologize, but thanks. Thank, Thank you. you so much. For this next person, I loved everything. Obviously, I loved what she was wearing, her, her celebration of just clashing and being very daring with her choices. But it was what she said at the end. That's what struck a chord with me. Hi, my name is Ursula, and I am wearing all Marnie today. Oh, Marnie shoes, pants, maybe a vintage belt. Uh, vintage that's also belt. Marnie, and a Marnie top, yes. Fantastic. So do you love... I, I take it you like to mix prints? I is, do. Is that your thing? Or? That is my thing. I love color, I love prints, I love wearing old and new and vintage and found and things that are given to me. I, mixing. I love mixing it all together, yes. Oh, it looks fantastic. Are these pants or skirts? These are pants. It's a pant. Yes. I love it. It's a nice wide cut. It's like a martial art or maybe a Tibetan monk kind of vibe. Right, uh, exactly. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Yeah, I like comfort. Everything I wear has to uh, be able to be worn on my bicycle. So, function. Super practical, functional, whatever that is. Yeah. Exactly. Where did you get your hair dyed? Like, it looks so great. It actually suits you. Your skin yeah. tone. Thank you. I, I, I do like those things that suit my skin tone sometimes. <laughs> Pink just works for me. I I go to Mud Honey Hair Salon and and um, he does my first you know color that I add 
other colors as you go along, so. And great, and the cut is great for you too. Thank mm -hmm. you. This, this whole look is brilliant. Thank you. I love how colorful hey, It's about having fun every day, expressing myself and just uh, Through clothes. going for it, yeah. I agree. I got it, I gotta use it. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look fantastic. Thank you for stopping. Thank you. Valentino. Valentino bag? No, no, and the sandals. Oh, the sandals. Oh, there's a Valentino. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are they new? But I've never seen is, those. They, they're very new, but okay. this is Paul Smith. Paul Smith, yes, the, great. This, the sunglasses is, is from, you know. <laughs> no, Evie? Is that no? No, off white. Off oh, white? <laughs> <She's> of course. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be very quick. Okay. And uh, the shirt. Uh, but I'm not talking about it. It's like, oh, you know, well, you look great. So That's you, lovely. You Thank you. That. Thank you. <laughs> For the next person, I thought that her clothing represented her spirit. It was so bright and so colorful, just the way she was. Um, I thought she was fantastic, and I love the way she styled her trench. It was a very, very cool transitional way. Easy. I love them. Bodega fine, classic. They're so classic, exactly. So my name is Patsy, and today I am wearing, I just got this coat from the sample sale down at 260 um, and then I stole this scarf from my dad's closet. Nice scarf. I got this hat in Puerto Rico. It's Quicksilver. Yes. Um, I thrifted these shoes. I thrifted these pants. And then I just bought this top at Brandy Melville. Fantastic, so mixing old with the new. Yes. And your glasses are... Yeah. Bodega Fine. Bodega Fine, yeah. fantastic, brilliant. So do you usually dress very colorfully? I love color, oh, I do? need color in my life. Oh, you do? Yes, <laughs> always. I love it. You look very transitional for the next season, wearing a trench. Wow, wonderful, <laughs> good to hear. Thank you so much for stopping, thank you guys. Yes. <laughs> it was so course. nice meeting you, I'm subscribe. such a fan. Subscribe yeah. right now. <laughs> I'm already subscribed. Oh great, it was lovely to run into you guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Green is one of my favorite colors for pop, um, it's even during the transitional season. Um, looking at the signage, even the guy crossing the road with the camo bag, it's just one of those colors that to me is really um, significant, at least to me in my wardrobe during that time of the year. Speaking of wardrobe, this next woman, I loved how she's transitioning with that duster into the next season. She was gorgeous, by the way. Well, Chef Sticks here, and today I'm wearing a few pieces vintage Fenty bag from the 90s I got from my mom. No, let me yes. see Yes, look at her. She's old and battered, but I refuse to let her go. She's Your so pretty. Mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. Um, H&M <laughs> duster. Looks great. H&M t-shirt, some Levi's shorts, and All Saints boots. Great. Yeah. Ah, what up? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, darling. You feel me? <laughs> Well, this is a really cool look together. Thank and, and you. Where are the rings from? These are really oh, cute. rings. Um, I got this at Chelsea Market. Um, there was a vendor there that created some like pretty dope stuff. And my best friend is actually a curator of this ring. It's the Abibo Skull Ring from Egbo Collections. Oh, it's so unusual. Yeah, it's sick. Hey, everyone calls me Sticks, private chef here in New York City. You're what? Yeah. You're okay. a chef? Private chef. Wow. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's fantastic. I bow down. Thank you. I love you. Who doesn't? Who, exactly. We all need it. That's great. Private chef. Private chef and caterer, yes. Are you booked and busy? Michelle, booked and busy is even the word. Really? No one wants restaurants anymore. They just want the whole intimate experience. So I'm is able it? to provide that service for them. Do you find that's because of where everything's been going on as well? People just yes. Want... People are just like, you know, let's just keep it in house. And I'm okay with that because that's... That's what I do. That's good for you, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, hats off. Thank that is you. great. Um, this whole look with the mixing the patterns and all of that, this is crazy good. Thank oh, you. You look fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah.
Black is a staple color of New York. Near, dare I say it is the uniform of New York. Um, I see it everywhere and I actually love the application of it. Even like on the signage that I saw of an ad, um, I loved how it looked. And I know it's on a dog obviously, but just the black, the way it's added to that shirt, it's gorgeous, right? It really makes the white pop. And I stopped this woman who was in black, but um, I like the fact that even though she was, she also talked about the other color that she truly likes. And I'd love to see her again one day and see her wearing it. My name is Shiloh and I am wearing a dress from Mango. I, yeah, I can't believe this is Mango. It looks way more expensive. It, it does. It, oh, does it have pockets by chance? Um, it, no, it does not oh, have pockets. No. See, now it's, so it's not yes. the perfect dress, but it's good enough. <laughs> yes. Lovely. And what's the rest? Um, uh, how did you... Well, I broke my foot and this is my first day without a boot. So oh. I'm in Birkenstocks because it's the first day without a broken oh, no, foot I'm boot. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and... and then just, you know, my mom tote bag as I run around with two little kids most of the day. Okay, well, you yes. look fantastic. Well, thank do you. you thank do you, you usually wear black or is it just happens? I wear a lot of black. Oh, you do? A lot of black. A lot of just white button downs and jeans too, but a lot of black. I like black a lot. Um, and I feel like it's just an easy neutral that goes with everything. And if I'm not wearing black or white, I wear a lot of royal blue. Oh, that's a great color. Yes. Not too many people wear that. I wear actually. a lot of blue. Yes. It's good for next year, actually. Yeah, I know. That's why I bought it. It's like a good little transition in September. Piece. Yeah, or vacations. Yes. Sort of yes. Lovely. Thank you so much. This color combination in the puddle I thought was so pretty. The blue, the green, and that dusty pink. It's such a, it's a really nice marriage. And it reminded me of this guy sitting here. He almost was embodying those exact same colors from the water. It's nice to always, I feel, just get inspired, not just from like, you know, fall fashion, the traditional way, like fashion weeks, etc. But look at, look at this wall. Look at what is around you. These are cues on color combinations that you may have not thought of. The blue of his cap against that rust color. Think of it that way. Remember to be inspired that way. My name is Jay Cos, and I'm wearing Jay Cos. That's what I do. I'm a designer, and so everything you see is Jay Cos. And then some vintage pieces that we sell. It's getting harder to sell, but. Why, because you can't find them? Yeah, the, the, there's a lot of fakes um, made in China. They make a lot of fake of the Indian jewelry now. Um, and these are really old, old turquoise that they don't, you know, they, it's really hard to find today. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, how long does it take you to put them all on in a I never take anything off, really. I mean, oh, sometimes my wife will tell me that, like, this bracelet scratches her, so I'll take it off. Right, yeah. Generally, yeah, I, I leave it all on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you shower everything, just keep them on. Everything. I actually love that. Yeah. Oh, that's Why great. Not? Um, exactly. Because I like how casual This is seersucker, is. but it's actually a very special seersucker that we do that's wool. Oh, you do this as well? This is wool, though. Oh, it's wool? Yeah. So you I've wouldn't never, never know. Light. Yeah, it it's, looks so light. It is extremely light. It's much cooler than uh, cotton as well because it breathes. But it's a really fine fabric that we make in Italy. And then we print it with these old, old fashioned screen prints rather than the digital print that everyone does today. I didn't know that wool could behave that way. Yeah, yeah. And I like the raw edge on the waistband. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's very unusual. Yeah, and like this is all done by hand as well. Oh, the belt. Does that come with it? Or that yep, was... the pant. It comes with the pant. Oh, we do them in several colors. I could see women wearing that. Yeah, actually. we sell them to women. Oh, you oh yeah. I like this. Yeah. I'm shopping now. Right? Yeah, it's um, dangerous. I, right, you, it very. And your shoes? They're these alligator. These are fun. Where did you find these? Uh, we make them. Oh, in Italy. Yeah. Okay, so everything. Everything. Is. Everything is made. Is self-made, really? Yeah. Not self-made by me. Designed by me, and then we make it in Italy or France. Brilliant. And um, tell us your. The monkey is the uh, is the logo. The brand is called J Cos J A Y K O S. Um, yeah, and our clients range everyone from Prince Charles to Puff Daddy. It's a very very wide range of clientele. We're not big on Instagram and website. We do put things there, but uh, very little because we get copied a lot from the big luxury brands. So we sort of hide as much as possible. I can understand that. Well, thank you so much for stopping. Thank you. Red. It's one of those fire statement colors that you will be hard pressed to not notice it outside of 
other colors which I feel like fade into the background, don't they, in comparison. You see red first, and I actually love that. Anyway, look how striking this one was. I loved when um, the conversation of color came about. She became very bashful, right, and almost like um, apologizing for the way she was wearing black constantly, but um, I thought she looked fantastic regardless. Okay, so I'm Brittany Franco. I am wearing this vintage Versace like turtleneck crop. Uh, I covered it with this like velvet dress that I thrifted a few years ago, I think. I don't know if I got it from Beacons or like another place, but definitely thrifted. Um, this is from Beacons. I found it recently. I was so excited. It's a vintage cow print purse. I think it's from the 80s, if not from the 90s. Um, and these are my really beat up demonias. The little oh, the detail at the top, yeah. Did you get these here as well, beacons? No, this was like one of the first pairs of demonias that I bought myself. I was like super proud of it, so that's why I look so beat up because I just wore them everywhere. <laughs> so, they look very yeah. comfortable, actually. They're super comfortable. Like you wouldn't think you could spend all day at work in platforms, but I I found a way. So, you did. They yeah. are, they're really cool. I love yeah. the earring too. Oh yeah, this is from Etsy. There's like this really, really awesome seller who has like thousands of... Sorry, I don't know if it's like tangled in my ear. Yeah, I can see it. That's really cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's like they have like thousands of jewelry pieces that they sell on their site and on Etsy. So there's like something for everyone basically. like all kinds of styles. I agree. Do you usually dress in black? Is that your color or, or just, just today, just feeling it? I feel called out because I do gravitate to black. <laughs> like I tend to try to like wear white, I try to wear color and on a day like today where it's just like okay I need to go, like I need to just throw something on, I do just end up wearing all black. Um, I try to have some white in there. But I've been trying to go for more color recently because I've always been such a huge fan of the 70s, different mm -hmm. colors and shades, different textures, right, and like textiles. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that is so much about color and, you know, like distinguishing pieces. Yeah. Um, I feel like even with black, I try to make sure they don't blend together, but it's way easier to do that when you have different colors and, you know, color blocking and all of that. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I would say I gravitate towards black, but I love color in general. You love color in general? Yeah, see, so I guess that's me now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look you up. Awesome. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure as is everyone else who sees you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I haven't posted since January, but... That's fine. Day. That's okay. You look great. Yeah. I love your hair. Thank you. It suits you so well. Oh. Thank you. Well, um, thank you for stopping, and I loved your style. Yeah, I'll probably you see you again, me. hopefully. Yeah, I'm here most days, honestly. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Welch. I'm wearing off white, Rick Owens, purple brand, Alexander McQueen. Okay. Oh, I, I do like you're the second person I've seen in these um, in a different color, and I do like these a lot. Are they comfortable? Very comfortable. Oh, they are. I live, I have like about seven pairs of these. Of these? Yeah. I have the high, low, very comfortable. Yeah, I, I really do. Um, I love the, sh the cut. It's, it's yeah, really nice. cool. And your, wow, your ink is incredible. Um, your <laughs> jewelry, where did, you, where did you pick up your jewelry from? Shambhala Jewels. Oh. Oh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very, very cool. Can I just see the hat, the crown? That is everything. And you, you made. Yeah, and this is Heads Up by Westwatch. Okay. Um, that's your website. That's my um, Instagram. That's your Instagram? Yeah. Where did you say the shirt was? Because I like this shirt. Off-white. Off-white. Yeah, and the bottom is Rick Owens. Rick Owens, okay. Yeah. Great layering. I'm thank you. this whole look together. Very, like, appropriate for the next season. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. You look great. All right, take care.
browns and various shades of it, like these buildings are one of my favorite colors to wear this season. And I looked at this woman who went full on with it and it worked, right? The bag and that dress, such a nice way to see color used. I like to play with um, desaturations and here I did that and I just kept the blues so you can see the blues of what people were wearing and I thought that led nicely into this next person wearing denim which to me is a key colour right and it's a key fabric um, of the season and just seeing how she tweaked hers to make hers fit her. Um, I'm wearing a black tank top. A Where's it from? From Sara, a blue jeans. Um, I don't know how to call them, cowboy jeans and some uh, mini heel boots. Are they comfortable? Yes, they're very comfortable. It's all from Sarah except this. This is Bean by Lola, a Mexican brand, I think so. So, yeah. And the back, I noticed the jeans has a. Uh... Like oh yeah! Is the, did you buy it like that? Uh, no, I just... So these jeans are big, so I just like tie them. Oh, like a style hack. Yes, exactly. Sometimes I, I use it like over here, like on weight. Yes. And uh, it's like more relaxed and all that. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, Yoli D. Yes, oh, Yoli cute. D. I don't like to assume anything, but these two women were walking literally in step with each other. And I was wondering if, you know, when you're having a conversation with someone, you want to be on pace with them and walk together. I wonder if they were like aware or if it's just like subconscious. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you the next person. I loved her, um, her whole look. The treatment of black and white was just spot on. My name is Ella. Ella? Yeah, Ella. Gorgeous name. So tell me, what are you wearing today? So I have this like uh, black ja jacket, but it's like super slim. So it's great for this season because like the sun is like so, like the sun is burning every day and this is just a great one for like to everyday wear. It is. Yeah, and this is a white like long piece dress. And it's a dress? Yeah, it's a dress. It's like one piece. Oh, it's very cool. Yeah. Where's it, where did you get that? China. Oh. <laughs> so the jacket is China. Yeah. The dress is China. Yeah. Same place? Uh, no, different places. Okay. Yeah. And anything, everything else? Uh, I just oh. have this pair of shoes. Yeah. Uh, and these are Alexander. McQueen. Yeah, they're. Okay. Are they old or new? I haven't seen those ones before. Oh yeah, they. I don't think like they're not pretty new, new, but like quite new. They're like quite new. Yeah. And okay. And, yeah, I got this pair back. Okay. It's great. I love them. Oh yeah, I have them done in China though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they look really yeah. good. Can I see the back of your jacket? Oh yeah. yeah. That is wow. That's very really nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is this looks beautiful. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. They don't make leather like that. <laughs> yeah, it's in the 70s and all of it still works. It's about having fun every day, expressing myself and just uh, through clothes. Go for it, yeah. The sunglasses is from, you know. So, there's like something for everyone, basically, like all kinds of style. Yes! Oh, I'm so yes. nice meeting you. I'm yes. such a fan. Subscribe right yes. now. Oh. I'm already subscribed. I never take anything off, really. I mean, oh, sometimes my wife that. will tell me that, like, this bracelet scratches her, so I'll take it off. Right, yeah. Generally, yeah. That is it. That is episode 23 of what everyone is wearing in New York. These episodes, they are a gift that I try to give to everyone else in the world. They are a celebration of us. The clothes are just a vehicle to show that. These episodes are about a celebration of individuality, but the common thread is that our expression of style and how we love it and how we show it. Thumbs up to this video if you want me to continue to do them. And also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of these episodes. If you want to see my own personal style, my Instagram is Karen Richick. And as always, take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Later.